Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Mac Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to show you a different way of looking at using Microsoft OneNote. If you've seen any of my other videos about OneNote, you know I'm a big proponent of creating notebooks that are related to projects, to clients, to those sorts of facets of your business that are focused rather than being generalized. But as you can see here, I have created a new notebook called an Outlook Supplement Notebook. The reason I'm doing this is because sometimes, really, it's just good enough to get us out of our inbox, out of our Outlook calendar, and into a space that we're under more control of. So for example, if I go to my Outlook supplement, I'm going to create these tabs related to uh, inbox, related to calendar, related to contact. And then I'm going to go to my inbox tab. And my basic idea here is that everything that comes out of my inbox that goes into this area is going to be a relevant email about something. And I want to be able to tie this together with other information. I want to be able to supplement it with useful things that I think are relevant about this email, etc. So what I'm going to do now is now that I have a section called Inbox, I'm going to go up to my Insert tab at the top of the screen and look at my Page Templates. Because Page Templates allows me to create a standard starting point for the pages that I create, but it doesn't have to be universal in OneNote. I can go to Page Templates here and I can create, as you can see right here, Save Current Page as Template. So. I'll think to myself, what do I like to do with emails that come in from my inbox that I feel are really important that I need to save and maybe I need to tie together with other things? Well, if I'm a salesperson, then I might come over here to the right, for example, and say this is related to a client or a prospective client. I might say that this is a stage of the sales process and I might be looking for related materials something along those lines if I'm in the calendar right I have my meetings my sales meetings that I have and I always need to keep track of the things that I want to remember to ask them about during my sales meeting so over here on the side I might have a little script that little script might go a little something like um, let's say I'll go over here make the font size a bit bigger and bolded and I'll say this is uh, general regional or industry information and then I also need to be able to gather their current status pain points and value of solutions right and so as a salesperson I'm trying to gather more information about them where they're coming from what their current status is with their vendors where their pain points are and what we could do to deliver value to them and then over here with contacts maybe every contact that I store here is somebody I'm trying to sell to so over here on the right I could say something like again regional slash industry information, personal information. If I want to remember what the name of their spouse is, or that they have kids, or they like soccer, something like that could be helpful there. Who their um, assistant or gatekeepers are and what their information is like. And so as I track all of my sales contacts, I'll know who their assistant is and what their assistant is like. I'll know who their family members are, what's relevant to them in their day-to-day -day life. I'll know uh, what sorts of things they're interested in, uh, both personally and in an industry perspective or the region that they're in, etc. Now, 
With each of these, I have now created a great template. So I'll just go over here to my Contacts tab, go to this Regional Industry Information page, and I will save the current page as a template, and I'll call this the Contact Template. And I'll say that it is the default template for everything that gets saved in this section. And I'll click Save. And then I'll go to my calendar. And this page right here, I'll choose Save Current Pages Template. I'll call it the Meeting Template. And I'll say that everything that gets saved into the calendar section automatically gets uh, placed on it the Meeting Template. And I'll hit Save. And I'll go over here to my inbox. And again, Save the Current Pages Template. I'll say this is my Email Template. Set this as the default template for this section and hit Save. All right, so now I can go ahead and go over to my email, and let's say that I get this email from Eric Goodwin. And Eric and I are having a conversation about something. He's got, sent me over a PDF, and I think to myself, you know, I really should pull this out and send it over to OneNote. So I'll click on the OneNote button up here at the top of the screen, and I will send this into my Outlook Supplement Notebook into the inbox. And you see right there, always send email notes to the selected location if I decide that that's the way I'm going to use OneNote. I think that's a good idea. So I'll click on the checkbox here. Every time I get a new email that I want to send to OneNote, automatically send it to my inbox section within the Outlook supplement and click OK. And just like that, I get this the contents of the email, the new product ideation email, the attachment, the body of this email, and then I come over here and I say, oh, the prospective client is uh, GMX Manufacturing. Uh, they're in the prospecting phase of the sales process, and any related materials, I can come in here and attach a file, let's say this org chart right here, there it goes. Then the next time that I go into my inbox and I get an email with Leticia Roca, and she's from Outlook.com, that's a different prospective client, I'll click the Send a OneNote button. It immediately creates an email for Leticia Roca that has all of her relevant information. And again, this little form that I created, it's a super simple form, obviously you can make this a lot more complex, and that I can fill in. Then I'll go back to my Outlook and I'll go over to the calendar. And let's say that I have a meeting coming up in a couple of weeks. That is the marketing ideas meeting. So I'll open this up and I'll say, you know what? I want to go ahead and take all of this information and connect it over to OneNote. So again, I click on meeting notes here. These are just going to be my meeting notes because I'm trying to sell to these people. So I'll click on take notes on your own and send this over to the Outlook supplement into the calendar section. Notice the checkbox right there. Anytime you've got meeting notes, automatically send this over to this section. Click OK. Instantly, in the calendar, I have this Spring 2019 Marketing Ideas email that has all the relevant information in it, and I have my preset areas where I can fill in the regional and industry information, the current status, etc. And again, if I have another meeting, let's say I've got a sales meeting coming up, there we go, I can double click on that sales meeting, open up that note, and send the meeting notes over to OneNote, take notes on my own, and again, instantly that email, excuse me, that meeting goes into the meeting notes right here under my calendar tab. And then let's say that I'm trying to sell to somebody. So I'll go over to my contacts next. I can go over to my contacts, find uh, Eric, right? Eric is an important contact to me. So I'll choose Eric. I'll click on OneNote right here. And I'll say, send this over to the Outlook supplement, send it over to the contacts section. And one more time, always send contact notes into the contacts section of the Outlook supplement notebook. Click OK, 
and instantly I have Eric's information in here as well as a form over here that says what's the industry information that Eric is use, uh, finds informa uh, interesting? What's the personal information about Eric that I need to remember? Who's his assistant? What gatekeepers are between me and Eric? And I'm able to fill this in and automatically have that information related to Eric's information. So then I can easily go through and search for things like I can search for Eric, right? And if I search for Eric, I can find uh, Eric's actual contact information as well as all the relevant additional information as well as any meetings that he is attending with me as well as any emails I decided to send over, etc.